overall, that's going to be a little bit hard for you to see, but this is a breakdown by parish of, of where those, those violations took place, and it's kind of interesting to correlate that with uh, some of the areas where we know that a lot of deer were taken. Um, the high areas for, uh, where we had uh, uh, 20 or more citations issued in Evolves Parish, uh, we had 21 issued there. Uh, Grant had, I've got to get my glasses, um, 20 citations, Natchitoches 20, uh, Sabine 20, uh, St. Landry 16, Vernon, and, and Scott mentioned Vernon was one of those areas where we had pretty good deer harvest over there, 35. Surprisingly in Union, with all the deer that were harvested there, there are only 12, 12 violations up there. Uh, I guess those guys read the rule book better. Webster had 31, Wynn had 26. So it does seem to correlate with those areas where uh, you have good deer harvest uh, and you could expect to have some lack of compliance with that much hunter effort and that many people hunting those areas. Um, it's just a little uh, graph that we put together for you to show you. Uh, again, by those region breakdowns uh, with the number of criminal citations that were issued, uh, the Region 1 area, which is that area uh, where we have uh, had good deer hunting, a lot, of, a lot of deer harvest, that Region 3 area as well. And uh, uh, you see the warning citations that were issued in addition to that. And uh, those, uh, the red bar indicates where we had civil restitution uh, uh, for, uh, for deer that were taken. Uh, the other thing that I, that I wanted to mention to you, and this was a situation for those of you who are hunting over, I know there's people here that hunt in Mississippi, and there's also some of you maybe here who hunt uh, in some of the uh, area along the Mississippi River uh, in the reciprocal uh, agreement areas where either Louisiana or Mississippi hunting license is valid. Um, we we've had the question came up it came up last year because it was the first year that we have we have the tagging system now mississippi does not uh, so what do we do hunters were asking what what do we do you know if i'm hunting in these reciprocal areas how do, how do we address that we were hoping that this year by this year mississippi would have a tagging system in place so it would no longer be an issue Unfortunately, they still have not gone to a tagging system in, in Mississippi, so we're doing it the same way we did it last year. That being that if you, you're hunting in that reciprocal area on Louisiana license, comply with Louisiana regulations and tag your deer. If you're hunting in those areas, uh, on, in the reciprocal areas, using Mississippi license where tagging is not required, if you're going to be transporting those deer, taking those deer in Louisiana uh, area and transporting them in Louisiana, we're asking uh, that they're required to put a possession tag on the deer. The possession tag being we, we, we provide some that are in our hunting pamphlet, um, but any piece of paper, you can basically take any piece of paper and put down uh, the applicable information, uh, that being that uh, uh, the hunter's name, um, the, uh, the address, uh, the date that the deer was taken, and the sex of the animal, uh, attach that to the deer, and uh, then you can transport the deer uh, in Louisiana. Um, and that's, that's how we're going to address it this year. I don't know at this point if, if Mississippi will, will ever uh, go to a tagging system. We just we haven't had that, that conversation with them. Um, the other thing that I, that I just mentioned to you is that, um, you know, as I said, I've been doing this 32 years here, and, and we've seen how, how – how hunting has changed in Louisiana over the years. And I know that most of you in here are private land hunters. Uh, you're, you're in QD, uh, quality deer management. You are, uh, you're hunting private land. And, and I know that people hunting private land, uh, that is a self-policing operation. Uh, you're not going to let people come on your property and kill too many deer or kill the wrong deer or go shoot deer at night or, or you know, hunt deer without... Uh, having license, you're, you're going to protect your deer because you, those are your deer on your property. You perceive them as that, and, and you and and your family and or your fellow lease members or whatever that hunt that, you want to take care of that, and you want to have the best that you that you uh, can have, and uh, and that's a good thing. And uh, uh, you know we've seen we've seen that change over the years. It makes our job a whole lot easier. Uh, but we're also there willing to assist you when you do have problems come up on your private property with poaching, with night hunting, with some of those kind of things that you need our help with, 
uh, we're certainly uh, willing to, uh, to help you and to work with you on that. And uh, um, contact, you can, we have 800 number, 442-2511, 24-7 that comes into our dispatch here where uh, uh, you can call in and report via that method and, uh, and get an officer to respond to the complaint. I also encourage you to get to know the wildlife officers that work in your parish or, or in the area where, where you're hunting. Uh, uh, get to know them, uh, exchange business cards, exchange contact numbers. Everybody has cell phones nowadays. Gives us a, a big, big boost in, in helping you uh, to, to protect uh, the area that you're hunting because you carry that cell phone on you to the deer stand and you've got it with you all the time. And when you see a violation, when you see a guy pull up to your pipeline on the highway and stop and fire at a deer on your lease down the pipeline, you can whip that cell phone out. You don't have to wait till you drive out and, and find a phone somewhere anymore to report it. You can report it right now, give us a vehicle description, direction of travel, uh, as much information as you can. And it, it gives us a pretty good... Uh, chance at, at making the apprehension there and uh, if any of you have any questions uh, uh, regarding any of the regulations or anything uh, I'll be happy to try to answer them for you okay all right thank you very much I appreciate your time